Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at and reacting to old Cartoon Network shows and new Cartoon Network shows. And to start, we're going to uh, react to Samurai Jack theme song, followed by a modern show theme song, and in the end we're going to talk about it. Okay guys, well, this is a rap song, uh, I can tell it's like early 2000s, Samurai Jack came out in 2001, so it's, it seems about right for the type of music they're going for, uh, it's not my taste in music, so I don't particularly like the song, but the animation style is good, the actual TV show had a good storyline, had a good plot, it was well developed, and like, the animation might be less than adequate in some ways, but it's well beyond what's about to come up in this next clip from this next theme song for this next show that I'm about to show you. And I think this is really going to start building the case as to why TV shows have gone downhill since uh, when I was a kid. This is Clarence. <laughs> off with a fart joke in the theme song because apparently that's the epitome of humor nowadays the animation once again terrible terrible animation and I haven't seen enough uh, episodes of the show sadly to be able to tell you if it follows a continuity but I can tell you the animation still went downhill the stories are terrible it's not well written very disappointed by the show Oof. And the theme songs. Like, you can tell they're just trying to make it uh, something that goes fast. Because I feel like the kids are expecting the entertainment to come quickly now. Like, short little burst. And then not long continuing stories. Because they can't keep their minds as focused as children used to be able to. Which isn't the best. But I guess that's what they're going for now. And here's one of the biggest differences of them all. Okay, so this is a favorite of mine. This is What's New Scooby-Doo? What's New Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo, Scooby gonna follow you. We're gonna solve that mystery. Okay, so <laughs> this one breaks the trend. Um, Obviously, the stories are not continued that it doesn't have its own continuity really but it's still well written it's entertaining it, it helps kids develop some skills of like problem solving and critical thinking they can try to figure out who the uh, monster really is so i'll argue that scooby-doo is still a really great show and it has a good lesson you know scooby-doo teaches us that the real monsters are man Let's go look at its competition from a modern day Cartoon Network show. This is Clarence. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so they started off with a fart joke in the theme song. Because apparently that's the epitome of humor nowadays. The animation, once again, terrible. Terrible animation. And I haven't seen enough uh, episodes of the show, sadly, to be able to tell you if it follows a continuity. But I can tell you the animation still went downhill. The stories are terrible. It's not well written. Very disappointed by the show. Oof. And the theme songs. Like, you can tell they're just trying to make it uh, something that goes fast. Because I feel like... The kids are expecting the entertainment to come quickly now, like short little burst and then not long continuing stories because they can't keep their minds as focused as children used to be able to. Which isn't the best, but I guess that's what they're going for now. And here's one of the biggest differences of them all. It's the original Teen Titans.
Team Fans. We're going to stop there. We accidentally listened to it too much earlier, and as we're reacting, it's best if we keep it to only 15-ish uh, second uh, clips. So, um, this show is great. I mean, look at the animation. Look at, look, I'm going to get a picture of the Teen Titans and put it up. Look at that. That's some good animation. Um, the stories were arching. They had meaning. They had depth to them. It's a great TV series. Now, let's, let's look at the follow-up to it. This is Teen Titans Go. Okay, so we're gonna stop there. Let's just look at the animation, you guys. The animation went downhill, just like everything else Cartoon Network's been producing lately. They have not focused on the animation very well. It's pretty terrible looking. The storylines have been cut into the little segments so they can fit multiple little short stories into a clip. And again, I think this goes along with uh, children are just expecting that now. And it's not like that children are upset. That's really sad. Um, I'm gonna not. I'm. I won't lie to you. I watch Teen Titans Go sometimes. Uh, I was a fan of the original Teen Titans, and sometimes I do watch the Teen Titans Go. It's not a terrible show. It's terrible compared to what it used to be. But it in itself, if it was with a different name or different characters, it wouldn't be the worst show on the planet. Comparing it to what it used to be, it's terrible. But it just goes along with the Cartoon Network trend. Cartoon Network is. Making their shows for modern children, which just kind of expect short stories that don't really have any actual meaning. They don't have any impact on each other. I don't know exactly why that is, but this is what's going on. Some studies have indicated that the shorter uh, cartoon episodes that are being developed are actually impairing kids. They're becoming less patient, they're becoming less controlled, and they are slightly becoming less intelligent. It also may be linked to ADHD. So my verdict and my reaction to the changing of Cartoon Network's shows is that of negativity. I think they should go back to the older format, and not for nostalgic reasons, but because the new format just isn't well received, and if it's causing adverse health effects on children, then it just needs to get dealt with. I mean, I guess to an extent, I see this study as something I could totally believe in. Um, the study was done on Spongebob, but uh, you can compare it to the Cartoon Network shows for similar reasons, um, as they've become shorter and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's believable. I mean, if I look at kids when I was younger and think about stuff that we used to do, and then look at kids nowadays, there's a vast difference. It's not... Maybe not vast, but there is a difference. And I think that's the real problem I have with uh, the short name cartoon shows. Is that it doesn't really do for good stories. It's one of my problems. Probably maybe a bigger problem than this one. Because this one's just a study that it's either you believe it or you don't. Um, you don't have to believe it. <laughs> and then this is another problem I see with it. So, I mean, do what you will, but it's disappointing. And maybe it's the nostalgia talking, or maybe it's just looking dead at the shows and this data, but it seems problematic to say the least. Maybe I'm just over. Maybe I'm just old at this point. I'm not that old. I'm only a freshman in college, but... I'm feeling old during this video. Either way, whether I be right or wrong, uh, I don't ask for any hate. I, if you want to leave in the comments what you think, if you believe the study, if you don't, let me know. I'll gladly talk about it. And I listen to every viewpoint inside. So I'm not necessarily right here. I'm not necessarily wrong here, but I'll gladly hear about it, see your point of view. 
But most importantly, just have a nice day, evening, or night, depending on what you're watching. See you guys, everybody. Bye!